Hey there, my friend, it's Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, and welcome to today's episode. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some healthy meal prep ideas that are great for weight loss. So if you're someone out there and you wanna reduce your body weight, you wanna lose some fat, then you probably know nutrition is the key. And when it comes to nutrition, the key is actually making it simple so you can actually follow through and be consistent. Because we all know it doesn't really help to go on some fad diet and be on a rigid plan and then to fall off track and regain all the weight. So what I wanna do today is bring you into my kitchen and run through some of my favorite go-to foods, go-to meals that are great for weight loss, energy, and even muscle building, quite frankly. And the way we're gonna structure this particular episode is I'm gonna bring you through some breakfast ideas, some lunch ideas, some healthy snack ideas, and some dinner ideas. And I'm gonna be asking you some reflection questions as we go through to get you thinking about what are the foods that you can incorporate into your routine to make this really practical. I know you're gonna learn a ton, so get out some pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. All right, so let's get into today's episode on some healthy meal prep ideas for weight loss. And I wanna run through a whole entire day because I think it makes sense to think about how we go through a day. The first thing I think I want you to think about when you wake up in the morning before we talk about food is you need to rehydrate your body. And this means that you get 20 to 32 ounces of high quality water. And when I say high quality water, ideally it's water that's nice and filtered and you can add in a pinch of some pink Himalayan sea salt or some minerals and you drink that within 30 minutes of getting up. Our bodies need water to get that energy production going and I want you to get water before you have coffee or any other kind of food. Now, you may have heard the buzz around intermittent fasting, the idea that you don't necessarily need to eat in the morning and that's true. And I wanna say I'm a big proponent of doing things like fasting if it works in your schedule, but I still wanna talk about breakfast because whether or not you have breakfast at, let's just say six, seven, eight o'clock or if you shift that first meal back to around 10, 11, 12, this is still gonna be relevant. And I think when it comes to breakfast and starting off your day, you need to make breakfast super simple. And here are a couple meals that I absolutely love. One of my favorite go-to breakfasts that actually doesn't require a lot of meal prep is making a high quality protein shake. All you need is a blender. You need a high quality protein powder. So this is our Fit Father version of Superfuel. It's a whey protein powder. We also have plant-based versions, but you wanna get a protein powder that has around 20 to 25 grams of protein per scoop, and it's low in sugar, and ideally has some other good nutrients in it like probiotics, vitamins, and minerals like ours. But you throw about a scoop, a scoop and a half of protein. You can throw in some chia seeds and hemp seeds, maybe about one to two tablespoons of that, a little bit of almond milk or dairy milk if you like that, some wild frozen berries, and you can blend up a delicious shake. And one of the reasons that protein shakes are so good in the morning is because they take a little bit of time, like, like five minutes, they keep you very full, they don't have a lot of digestive stress, and you can be so consistent with it. So if you're a busy parent and you're running around prepping your kids for the day, getting ready to go out to work, you can blend up a shake and get amazing nutrition. You don't need to think about it, it's automatic. So I'm a huge fan of protein shakes. And if you ever join any of our Fit Father or Fit Mother programs, we give you a bunch of different shake recipes and smoothie recipes using some great ingredients, they're super delicious, and it kind of becomes addictive because you have such a good routine. Now, another thing that's easy for breakfast is making an egg recipe. So I have a couple options here and I'll show you this a little bit closer on screen, but I just took some three eggs and these are high quality eggs. You can see the yolk, it's kind of orangish. Uh, and these are sunny side up. I just put them a little butter in a pan and I fried these things up. I put it on a side of some sprouted uh, microgreens and I had some leftover green beans from the night before and I have a little piece of Ezekiel bread toast. So this meal doesn't take very long to make. I mean, just making some eggs up, it takes like five minutes to make something like this. Eggs are a phenomenal, phenomenal breakfast food. They're high in protein, high in healthy fats, high in the choline that fuels your brain. So when I'm thinking about healthy breakfast, it's either a shake or some eggs, or the final option I recommend for you is making something like an overnight oatmeal. And this is great for you if you're following more of a plant-based, vegan, vegetarian style lifestyle. What you can do is get some organic rolled oats. You can throw it in a little mason jar overnight with some hemp seeds, some chia seeds, some almond milk, and just let that soak. And in the morning, you have this delicious oatmeal that's rich in all these vitamins, minerals, fiber, and protein. You can throw a scoop of some peanut butter on there and you have a nice, simple, quick, and easy meal. The main thing I want you to say right now and think about is breakfast needs to be standardized. I want you to think, pick one or two go-to options and nail it every single day. Because what happens is when you're consistent with breakfast, it means you're gonna carry that momentum on into lunch, snack, and dinner, and this whole wheel of positive momentum churns in your life. So shakes, eggs, overnight oatmeal, or even leftovers from dinner the night before are great breakfast options. 
Now, in between breakfast and lunch, I want you to just focus on hydrating. Don't snack, allow your body to have eaten the foods, digest, stabilize the blood sugar. Now around, let's just say four or five hours later, you might be going for lunch. Now, how can we make lunch more simple and consistent? There's a couple things that are great. The first thing is you can get a salad, base of any kind of salad you like, spring mix, romaine, whatever, and you can throw some protein on top. So I have a really simple meal here. I have a little bit of some grass-fed ground beef that I made up here on a bed of some romaine lettuce with some peppers. I mean, this is a super easy and simple meal that doesn't take very much. How do you do this? Well. What we did the night before is we just pan fried a little bit of this grass fed ground beef with some taco seasoning. And we had a little bit of these peppers that we just chopped up and, and sauteed right over there. And you just throw this on a bed of lettuce. This literally takes like under five minutes to make after you've done the little bit of prep. So if you have these things sitting in your fridge, whether it's a chicken breast you cooked, salmon, or if you're following a vegan vegetarian option, you can do some tempeh or something like this. Throw this on greens, you can always do salad and greens. And what's cool about this idea of lunch of doing greens and some protein protein is that even if you're eating out, let's say if you're on the go and you need to go to some fast food chain, you can do this basically anywhere. You can go to McDonald's and get a chicken salad. You could go to Chipotle and get a base of some salad with some protein on top. So for lunch, I want you to think of getting that good base of greens with some protein on top that's going to keep you full and it's very healthy. A couple other options for lunch that are phenomenal that don't require a lot of meal prep is making a high quality sandwich. So all I did here is like have some Ezekiel bread, you toast this, it actually tastes quite good. I put in some sprouts, some turkey, some mustard. You could throw a little avocado, a little pesto. This sandwich is gonna be under 400 calories, loaded with fiber, protein, healthy fats, greens, uh, so many vitamins and minerals. It's amazing and super convenient. You could take this on the go. And literally there was no prep required for this. You just have the pieces of bread that you toast and you throw the already meats on there or whatever you throw on there, easy. If you're following a vegan vegetarian plan, you could make this with some high protein peanut butter, right? Toasted Ezekiel bread, throw a cup, four tablespoons of peanut butter on there. Maybe sprinkle on some hemp seeds on there for some extra protein and healthy fats. Amazing easy. This didn't require basically any prep whatsoever. Other things that are really good for lunch is you can do leftovers from dinner. And when we get to dinner, I'm gonna talk about this concept of a perfect plate. This is what a perfect plate framework looks like. Half of your plate is gonna be some kind of veggie you love, a quarter is some kind of protein, a quarter is some healthy carbs or healthy fats. For lunch, you can just use leftovers from the night before. So you can see how this whole framework starts to stack on itself, it's really convenient. But typically for me, Ezekiel bread sandwich, leftovers from the night before, or some kind of protein salad is exactly what I'm looking for for lunch. Now, snack. Snack is something that you don't necessarily have to have, but I think a lot of people get in trouble between the hours of lunch around noon and dinner around five or six o'clock. That can be a long stretch. And if you don't eat anything, then you go over into dinner starving and you maybe overeat or eat the wrong foods, or you just don't have a good plan and then you snack on crappy foods or your blood sugar gets out of control. So I like to give people options on how you can do a healthy snack somewhere around two, three o'clock to take the edge off. A couple convenient things that are really good for meal prep or healthy snacks. One are hard boiled eggs. Whether or not you have eggs in the morning, you can basically make some hard boiled eggs. Very easy to do, right? You just boil these things on the stove top and you can make a dozen hard boiled eggs in under 15 minutes and they're just there. You can have those. You can pair those with a little bit of cheese if you want, if, you, if dairy feels fine for you. I have some raw goat cheddar that you can pair with some eggs. That is a high protein, healthy fat snack that's super good. Other ideas for snacks that I love are getting some high quality nuts. These are some macadamia nuts. I love macadamia nuts, walnuts, pistachios. You can get around a third cup of these and pair it with a piece of fruit, like an apple. I mean, this is an amazing snack, non-perishable, really no meal prep required. You just have to have this stuff around the house. Other things you can do, if you're the kind of person who likes bars, you can buy some high quality protein bars. I have a plant-based one from Garden of Life here. I have a Go Macro bar over here that's good. You can also get a high quality protein yogurt. So I have a Greek yogurt with Chobani and you could throw some berries in there, right? So are any of these ringing bells for you as foods that you like? I want you to be thinking about what are your go-to healthy foods. And when you figure those out, you buy them in bulk and you keep them around the house. And so far, outside of really like the eggs, and maybe the grass-fed beef or the protein that was on top of um, the salad here for lunch, no cooking is really required, right? We're, this is very simple and easy stuff that you can think about. Now, when it comes to dinner, this is where we need to be a little more strategic about our prep. And I brought up this idea of perfect plate. I wanna show it to you again. To make a perfect plate, you need to decide what are your go-to healthy veggies that you love? What are your go-to proteins that you love? What are your go-to healthy carbs that you love? And what are your healthy fats that you love? And you prep those things in bulk. And I wanna show you a couple perfect plate meals that fit this bill. This first one here, I have some grass-fed ribeye 
which we just literally cooked in the oven and then we finished a little bit um, on, a, on a cast iron skillet. So this is not too hard to make. You can make this stuff in bulk. We just sliced this up. We made it the day before. We used a pressure cooker to make some of these uh, squashes. So this is a delicious squash. And to be really simple, we just threw it on the side of some greens. So there you go. Really easy, perfect plate. If you like beef, this would be something you really love. Here's a seafood based perfect plate. We have some Cajun shrimp, which you can make on the grill, in the oven with some seasoning. You buy some high quality wild shrimp, season these puppies up. We have some roasted vegetables, some Brussels sprouts. Uh, There's some sweet potato in here, some acorn squash. Um, and then we mix this up with a little bit of some uh, long grain white rice. So this is a perfect plate. This works really well. And again, if you make a, this in bulk for dinner, you cook more in dinner, you're always gonna have leftovers for lunch. Another perfect plate that's really simple that a lot of people would like is some kind of like spicy chicken breast thing. So. Chicken breast on the grill, again, white rice, which we made that in a rice cooker. We did some steamed broccoli and we have a little bit of avocado for healthy fats and I drizzled a little hot sauce on there. So these are pretty simple meals. And if you start to think about this for dinner and you're prepping your go-to carbs and proteins in bulk, you're gonna be in great shape. So for me and my family, we do once or twice a week, we'll have some kind of red meat. So either making that grass-fed taco seasoning, so we have a taco night and we cook up a bunch of that ground beef or we'll make a ribeye steak, that's great. Another night per week, we'll make up some chicken, or I'm sorry, some chicken or some wild salmon. And we typically do that most of the times in the oven. So you just put more than you need for dinner, just load it up there, bake this stuff in the oven. Now you have a bunch of leftovers you can use for lunch and for dinner that day. And when it comes to the healthy carbs, uh, personally what I like to do is either sweet potatoes, some kind of squash, or some kind of rice. And the way to do that that's really easy is you can get yourself a rice cooker. So I have a big one here. So you get one of these, invest in a rice cooker. Oh my gosh, make it so easy. You can actually make vegetables and rice in there. You put it on, you can make great healthy carbs. Um, the other thing that's really good is using something like a pressure cooker, like an Instapot. We made all of these, uh, Oh, it just fell apart here, but we made some of these squashes here in the Instapot and they're so soft, it takes around 10 minutes. So you can make these, these healthy carbs in the Instapot super easy with pressure cooking. And so that's really the concept here. The concept here is you need to figure out your go-to healthy foods. It does not require a ton of prep. And quite frankly, if you're a person who wants to do zero cooking, you could literally go through a zero cooking day of a healthy meal for weight loss. You could do a shake in the morning. For lunch, you could buy some pre-cooked chicken breast or something like that, or even some canned salmon or canned sardines. Like I have some tinned wild sardines that are so healthy for you. You could throw that on top of uh, some greens, it requires no cooking. For snack, you could have some jerkies or some nuts or a piece of fruit. And for dinner, you could do any of these other things. You could continue to make even an Ezekiel bread sandwich for dinner with some turkey that's already like pre-cooked with some avocado. So the idea is that you need to find your go-to healthy foods. So my reflection question for you is this. What are your or your family's go-to healthy foods in the form of proteins, healthy carbs, fibrous vegetables, and healthy fats? When you identify those, you go to the grocery store, you buy those foods, and then you start to create like a meal plan that basically works like this. And if you want more direct help with this, if you want to have everything laid out in a very simple do this, here are some recipes, then I recommend you check out our free meal plans, which are linked in the description. We have those for fit fathers and for fit mothers, as well as our full paid program. And our paid program obviously has the full nutrition plan, the full fit father and fit mother recipe book, all of the workouts, coaching for me and my team, so that's the best option if you wanna get very serious about weight loss. But I think even from this free video, you probably have some good ideas on stuff you can start incorporating. And my final little bit of tips to kind of wrap this up, is if you take one thing away from this video, I want you to nail your first meal of the day. Nail breakfast, make it consistent. Make it high protein, get either the shakes, the eggs, something like that, because when you start to be consistent in breakfast, that momentum's gonna carry forward and it's gonna be so much more motivating for you to eat healthy the rest of the day. Thank you, my friend. I hope you found this video valuable and you got some ideas on some healthy meal prep for weight loss. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi signing off. I want you to check out those free meal plans in the description. I'll see you around our channels and I'll talk to you very soon.